So you just downloaded this new and fresh app called Vlogs. You kind of know what it does, but you're not too aware. Hi, my name is Aditya Dapali and I'm the founder and CEO of Vlogs. In this walkthrough video, I'll help explain some of its key features and why you should use the app. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions, comments, or feedback on our website, vlogs.com, using the contact us page, or shoot us an email at support at vlogs.com. Thank you so much and enjoy the video. All right, let's get started. First things first, you can download the app from the app or play store depending on your device. If you're on the app store, sim simply search for vlogs and download it from there. Or if you're on Android, you may go to the play store, search vlogs and install it there. After the vlogs app has finished downloading, click on the app icon. You will be asked to allow notifications. Select allow. Right when you open the app, you'll be prompted with a login page. Depending on your choice, either join now or sign in. If you're new, sign up through Vlogs as a gamer or company slash organization. Fill out the necessary information, your first name, your last name, gamer tag of your choice, email and password, and your birthday. On the bottom, you'll see two checkboxes. One is for our newsletter. This is an occasional email to inform you of major events, changes, or anything in between from Vlogs. The second option is to be recruited. You can check this box to show companies slash organizations that you're willing to be recruited for a spot on their team. You can change these options at any time in the app settings. Let me fill out this information and I'll see you on the sign in page. After you sign up for an account, you will receive an email to activate your account. Please check your spam and your inbox folders for your email. Go ahead and select sign in. Once you log in, you'll get prompted with the option to invite some of your friends. Here, you can tell your friends about the app and invite them to join as well. You can do this later in the app settings. Next, select your game interests. This is where you can put what you're interested in, and based on those interests, Vlogs will suggest followers and other gamers to connect with. Once you select what games you're interested in, feel free to follow other gamers and grow your network. Once you're in the app, it's fairly simple to use. On the bottom, you have four main tabs, your home page, your suggested followers page, messages, and notifications. You will now want to set up your profile. To access your profile, you can either click on the profile picture or select an option from the sandwich menu. Once you select your profile, you can change your profile picture, cover photo, name, and gamer tag, and description. On the profile page, you will see a vlog section and a post section. A vlog is your video game log, aka your gaming resume. Use this to add achievements and stats for all your games. On the right, you can swipe to see your post section. Here you can make a post that will go to all of your followers on their home feed, or else others can view your posts by looking at your profile. To add a vlog and posts at any time, you can select the plus icon on the bottom. The trophy icon is for your vlog and the notes icon is for making a post. Make sure to keep your vlog up to date. On the top you will see some stars. These are vouchers. You can endorse and comment other players for their skills or abilities. Use this wisely as once you vouch for another player it cannot be deleted, only modified and edited. This is to share honest and truthful vouchers. Going back, your homepage is automatically populated with posts from Vlogs and myself. This is to help provide you content right off the bat and give you quick updates directly. On the homepage, you can like, comment, and share posts. Keep in mind, if someone shares your post, even after you delete it, it will show up in their posts feed. On the top, you'll see a search icon. If you click on this, you can search for anybody based on their gamer tag or name. Next, let's move on to the suggested followers page. This page shows others who play similar games to you. It is generated based on your vlog and game interests information. Make sure to keep those two up to date. Next, you'll see your messages tab. Here, you can direct message others or receive messages from other gamers on our app. To send a message, you must follow the other person, but anybody can receive a message request. 
Once you receive a message request, you can either accept or decline to respond. If you accept, you can message them back without following them. If you decline, they won't be able to message you and you won't be able to message them. However, if you would like to message a person who you decline, you can go to their profile and follow them to send them a message and continue the conversation. Lastly, you will see the notifications tab. In this tab, you can see if someone liked, commented, or shared your posts. You can also receive push notifications for these messages and all notifications if you're outside the app. If you swipe left, you will see the standards menu. This menu has several options, including your vlog, posts, settings, terms of service, and privacy policy. Here, you can quickly access various tabs and places within our app. The last main part of vlogs is the settings section. Here, you can do several things. You can change your password, deactivate your account, change your notification settings, invite friends, give feedback, request for a new game to be added, request for a new stat to be added, share our app, access our website, get some help, or log out. That's it. We hope you enjoy using vlogs. As mentioned in the first part of this video, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to contact us on our website or send us an email at support at vlogs.com. Thanks for watching and happy vlogging. Till next time.